was all just a horrible nightmare. I didn't kill anyone. I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. I, I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Oh, my head. It feels like somebody showed a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. The sheets are full of blood. I can't go back to bed. I'm not tired anyway. This will hide the blood, in case anyone comes in the room. I'll patch it out my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. Yesterday, at 7.30 p.m. Lucas, it's Tiffany. I thought maybe I'd pop over tomorrow night after I leave the hospital and pick up a few things. Well, call me back. The clothes that I was wearing last night, they're covered in blood. I'd better not leave them there.
New York police, please open the door. Hey, what's that? Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. These images in my head, I must be losing my mind. He's somewhere in the apartment when I got in last night. It hurts. New York police, please open the door. Police, they know. They, they've come to arrest me. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass, and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. What happened to your wrist, sir? I told you, I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow! When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we'd prefer to be careful. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane. <laughs>